Do you wish Arma 3 was more like a modern day RPG, like Skyrim? Fighting dragons, exploring new lands, going on immersive and entertaining quests with great voice acting and plot twists? Well, I can't help you with any of that, but I can show you how to make a cool scripted system for fast traveling. It's very simple and intuitive for any player familiar with the general idea of fast travel in games. Anytime you open your map, you can instantly travel to any of the places with a marker for fast traveling over it. You just simply hover over the destination you want to visit, left click and confirm your decision to travel to the given location. While the screen is black, the game loads all assets from the nearest surroundings of the new location to minimize the amount of glitchy textures and unloaded word parts. The time is always equal to the time it takes your PC to process all the necessary data. I'm not trying to waste your time, so short trips will be loaded almost instantly, while slower PCs may take a good few seconds to load a completely different part of a large world. Of course, just like in any good RPG, some important locations can be designed as always accessible by the mission designer, meaning they will be available from the very beginning of the game, while other markers will need to be discovered by the player, meaning they will need to walk there first. Do you want to max the immersion, an optional feature to skip time based on distance travelled and average jogging speed in Arma 3 is also available. If you like to use your own markers for other purposes, don't worry. This system only uses markers that have been designated for fast travel and doesn't affect any other ones. Players can still draw their own notes on the map, but cannot use them to fast travel. If you were serious about implementing this feature into a good mission, you can also easily prevent any abuse and glitching by the player with a simple condition added to the code. Advanced coders should be happy to know that the scripts are relatively small and easy to figure out, and making new additions should not be a big problem. Now that we all know what this thing can do, let's see the code and I'll briefly show you the lines responsible for individual features so that you can orientate yourself in the scripts, should you want to modify it for your mission. I don't want to go into too much detail, but we'll just mention the main parts of the scripts. So let's start with init.sqf where I create an empty array. This array will later be used to fill with all locations that have been discovered before. I then create the marker for selecting different locations, place it at the very edge of the map and hide it from the player. I also add an event handler that calls a script every time the player opens a map. This is one of the core functions of the scripts. The event handler makes sure the scripts only do something when the map is open. The script markers.sqf runs while the map is open. It runs in a loop and checks all the map objects the player hovers his mouse over. If the map object is a marker, do another check to see if it is the right kind of marker, if it has been discovered before and if it is, the previously created selecting marker is moved over the selected one. If the player clicks his mouse at this point, the marker is considered the selected one and a dialog shows up. If not, the script keeps checking for other objects. When the map is closed, the selecting marker goes back to the edge of the map and gets hidden from sight. The dialog is very straightforward, it's just two buttons in a small window. The no button just closes the dialog without doing anything and the yes button initiates the fast travel. Here I used a little trick. Instead of using a global variable, I've created a small text field of the dialog. It's outside the screen and hidden away from the player. And this text field automatically fills itself with the name of the selected marker. This way I can call a script directly from the dialog and I can provide the script with the name of the currently selected marker, which is all I need to send the player to the correct destination. The last part is super duper simple. Once the dialog closes and the player initiates fast travel, I use a simple effect to black out the screen, move the player to the designated location with a simple set post command and tell the game to load the assets around this new location. Once that is done, the screen goes back to normal and scripts finish their work. This is the same concept as the one that I used in my maze mission, where the maze building face is also covered up by this simple effect. As for making the locations discoverable, it's just a simple trigger over the location. Once the player enters the trigger area, find the marker of that area and add it to the list of discovered markers. That's it. 
The markers that are compatible with this system all have the word travel in the name, meaning that if you want to use markers for other purposes, you can do it. And as long as you don't name them travel, they won't be affected. For creating fast travel markers, just include the word travel anywhere in the name and the scripts will pick it up. The mission also includes comments and examples on how to make your own areas compatible with the system. Everything is ready, for all ready visited locations you can take a trigger and a marker on one side of the town, copy paste them around the map and you are done. For locations that need to be discovered, same thing, but you will copy paste a trigger and a marker from the other side of the town. Well, there isn't much more to add. I'm very happy with how this turned out. It's a very clean script that works well and doesn't tax the game too much. As always, it was written for single player use and doesn't work in a multiplayer environment. I don't think it would be too much trouble to make it compatible, but it's not my problem. If anyone wants to make it happen, go ahead. I fully support it. If you send me the results, I can inform people about a new and improved version. So have a nice day and I'll see you next time.